Before you start the machine, you should always carry out a pre-check of the hauler. This is important for safety. Walk around the machine with the engine switched off. Make sure that there are no leaks or loose machine parts and that the tires are in good condition. Make sure that the steering lock has been removed after servicing or transportation of the machine. Also, make sure that the battery disconnector is turned on. If the machine is a full suspension model, don't forget to check the suspension struts. Don't try to activate the full suspension if the machine is strapped down or if there is anybody close to the machine. When entering the cab, make sure that you use three-point contact. This means that you should always have at least three contact points consisting of two hands and one foot or two feet and one hand. When cleaning the windshield or the rearview mirrors, always step on the slip-protected surfaces on fenders and hoods. Make sure that you use the handrails to obtain three-point contact at all times. When seated, adjust the operator seat and the steering wheel so that you have a good working position. Check the rearview mirrors. Adjust if necessary. Before you start the engine, do not forget to fasten the seat belt. Make sure that the parking brake is applied and that the gear is in neutral. Now you're ready to start the machine. Turn the ignition key to position 1. The machine's pre-start check must be allowed to finish. If the machine is equipped with the optional anti-theft system, you must enter the necessary code on the Contronic keypad. If the preheating light is on, wait for the automatic preheating sequence to finish before you start the engine. Now, turn the ignition key to position 3 and release it once the engine starts. If the machine is a full suspension model, check that the full suspension switch is in the operating position. The Contronic system monitors oil and fluid levels and displays an early warning on the Contronic's display if anything is wrong. Use the Contronic keypad to access information about the engine, transmission, hydraulics, etc. The Contronic system has two alarm levels. The yellow warning light means that the cause must be investigated when the machine next stops. The red warning light means that the machine must be shut down immediately and the cause investigated. Turn on the headlights, optional work lights, and the rotating beacon if required. Make sure that all lights are working correctly. Adjust the climate control to a preferred temperature in the cab. Make sure that the brake pressure gauges show the correct pressure in between the red areas. Apply the service brakes to put the gear selector into the drive position. Finally, release the parking brake. The transmission shifts automatically. The cab of the Volvo articulated hauler is a safe working environment. It's designed in accordance with the ROPS rollover protective structure and FOPS falling object protective structure standards. If the hauler rolls over, hold on to the steering wheel. Do not try to leave the cab until the hauler has come to a complete stop. There are two emergency exits, the left and the right-hand side window. In an emergency situation, use the emergency hammer to break the emergency exit window. It can also be used to cut the seat belt. When parking, use the service brakes to bring the hauler to a complete stop. 
put the gear selector into the neutral position and apply the parking brake. If the machine is a full suspension model, lower the machine by pressing the switch. Let the engine cool down for a few minutes, running at low idle speed, and turn off the lights. Turn off the ignition, and finally, turn off the battery disconnector when leaving the machine. Fill up the fuel tank at the end of the shift. This will reduce the risk of condensation in the tank. Always perform a pre-check of the machine before using it. When entering or climbing on the machine, always use three-point contact, two hands and one foot, or two feet and one hand. Do your best to achieve a good working environment. Adjusting the seat and steering wheel. Always use the seat belt. Before starting the machine, make sure that the parking brake is applied and that the gear is in neutral. You can check all vital information on the Contronic display. Use the keypad to access the information. Contronic continuously monitors all vital machine functions. If a problem occurs, the specific information is displayed together with yellow or red warnings. Yellow means that the cause must be investigated when the machine next stops. The red warning light means that the machine must be shut down immediately and the cause investigated. The cab is ROPS and FOPS certified. Never attempt to leave the cab if the machine should roll over. When shutting down the hauler, make sure that the gear is in neutral and the parking brake engaged. Finally, fill the fuel tank at the end of the shift.